Hey team, I wanna welcome you back to the training bay for a new series. This is our mailbag series where we are answering your most important questions. All right, now if it's your first time here, I wanna thank you for stopping by. If you're a repeat watcher, thank you for your continued support. But either way, I wanna make sure that all of you like this video, subscribe to our channel and click that little bell to make sure you get notifications on when we release new videos because we are here to help you hit the golf ball farther. So our mailbag series, the first question I want to cover is a question that we often get. And there's a couple of different ways it's asked, but I'm just gonna come out and state it in the most obvious way. Will speed training hurt my golf swing? Will it have a negative effect on my technique? Will it affect my tempo? Those are questions that we often get, and we want to address, or I want to address those questions and provide you our insights and maybe a few things to consider when you look at embarking on increasing your club head speed. So if you've decided you want to increase your club head speed, we obviously need to make some changes. And there's a chance that the tempo that you have in love or the golf swing that you have in love may need to change in the order for us to increase our club head speed. Because let's be honest, I know a lot of golfers tell me that they have this beautiful tempo that they don't want to mess with or that they have this beautiful technique and they're afraid it's going to, to change that. But if you're looking to increase your club head speed, you're obviously not happy with something. So we have to be very clear on what is your goal. If your goal is to increase club head speed, well, guess what? The training is going to need to be fast and aggressive in order for our speeds to go up. Will that change our tempo? There's a good chance it will. Will it change our tempo in a negative way? That is not always the case. A lot of people have a misconception that a fast backswing is going to lead to an erratic golf swing. That's not always the case. If we want to increase our club head speed, it's very challenging to make a backswing at this speed so it's slow and controlled in tempo, but then all of a sudden expect us to turn it on and unleash a very aggressive downswing. If you want your downswing to be faster, we need to build up some energy in that backswing. And if our backswing becomes a little bit faster as a result, the tempo in that scenario, fast backswing, fast downswing, can work to balance itself out. But I'll have you keep in mind, no two players are the same. So to answer the question, will speed training affect my tempo? There is a chance it will, yes but will it, affect it, will it affect it negatively? That is not always the case. And when you go through our super speed protocols and the different drills that we have, some of those drills like step change and heel stomp help us work on our lower body sequencing and some drills help us work on our upper body sequencing to make sure that we can still make a technically sound golf swing that has the right moves in transition and tempo to help us make the best golf swing that we can. So aside from tempo, another way that it's asked is that, is this going to wreck my technical golf swing? And again, I think if we're being perfectly honest, we can always agree we're always working on something in our golf swing, or we always have a ball flight that we're trying to change or improve. And the way to think about technical and speed is those are both different skills. And if you're trying to train the skill of speed, you have to emphasize training speed. It has to be fast. We know that players or most humans struggle doing two things at once. We're not very good multitaskers by default. So when you're trying to work on speed and technique and you're trying to do them both at the exact same time, we usually don't see that work out very well in both cases with both speed and technique. So the thing that's important to remember, you have to train the two skills separately. And if you do that, we believe that you can increase your club head speed while maintaining your current technical golf swing. So what do I mean by that? As an example, is let's say um, you're unsure when to train for speed and when to go to the driving range. We do not recommend doing speed training right before you go to the drive range or right before you're hitting golf balls. There's no separation in terms of training those two skills. When we talk about training the nervous system, the nervous system absorbs different things and there's some time required for both of those to happen effectively. 
So we need to split them. Let's say that you are someone who works a full-time job and you have the ability to go to the driving range two nights a week or one night a week. If you're going to the driving range after work, we would recommend that you train your speed training before work. If it has to be on the same day, that's fine, but that separation, that work day, gives you a chance to train your skill of speed in the morning, and then you can go and focus on your technical golf swing in the afternoon, or vice versa. Another thing to remember as well, especially if you're someone who's playing golf and going to the driving range, let's say you hit a large basket of balls a week, and let's say you play 27 holes a week. Uh, so you're making uh, over 100, let's say between 100 and 150 golf swings a week. If you include practice swings and different things like that, you're probably easily over 200 swings a week. If you think of super speed training a protocol, and let's say that you do the protocols three times a week, so that's 39 swings, so let's call it 40, you're making 120 swings a week in the speed department, but then making 200 technical golf swings a week, you are making less than 50% of your total swings in that speed silo. The point I'm trying to make is there's plenty of balance to do both separately so that you can get the most out of each component. Train speed separately, train technical separately. That's the way we look at maximizing both. Because like I said earlier, when we try to combine both, we usually don't get the results that we're looking for. So in terms of addressing Will speed training hurt my golf swing? I want you to consider those things, but we also have to be smart about it as well, right? Is the things that I'm doing making the most sense in terms of understanding how this might change my tempo, whether that's a positive or a negative? And am I planning my weeks and months to combine or to separate, I should say, speed training and technical training? And I believe with that understanding, all players should be able to recognize that if they have a goal to increase speed, you consider those things and you can help increase your club head speed in your golf swing and hit farther drives on the golf course. All right, so that's it. That is our thoughts on will speed training hurt my golf swing? If you have any questions or if there's something that I didn't answer the way that you wanted to or you have an additional question, please post them in the comments down below. I'll do the best I can to help you out. Just remember, everyone trains a little bit differently, but if we consider these things, we believe that this can help you hit the golf ball farther. All right, this was one of our mailbag series. Keep an eye out for the next one coming soon. Hope you guys have a great day.